Hello all, in and left back. Up the more, wide and forbidden left. Uh, part four of the stream. Gameplay. PS5 gameplay. And, uh, let's wanna see if, wanna see if there's anyone else to talk to here. Someone in here, I think. Um. Hmm. Let's go see who we've got. We can talk to in here. Well, this Let's talk to this guy. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hold. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Already got enough bitter leaf. Just need to and grab a metal panel from a scoundrel Well, I'm not going to do with that one now. Enough. See who else I can talk to here. And what's this? Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely led Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, 
the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Alvind up. What is this concession decree that Alvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Ulvind get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside he took off and ran all the way here good place to start looking then if you learn the truth maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead They're that one person. They are the girl. The girl we met at the sort of uh, when we first came in invited us for a drink. Rich meat. I wonder if that will be uh, any good for giving any of if I could give any of that to the butcher. Let's see if 
Medicine strike. Um, no, I'm thinking. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah, don't listen to me. Not than a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So, he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's why. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. So the Bristlebacks in the Daunt. <laughs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. 
Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. How goes it, Hammerhead? He's a challenge. Play some strike. Name her. Oh, that's a uh, save one. Oh, I just took save. Um. Okay, so let's see. I've got some side stuff. Crests. Level five. No, no deep trouble. Five crafting. Never fear, my lady. I'll have you know I am the smartest man to ever stand exactly. <laughs> Oh wait, actually, I wanted to well, got some meat for that um guy, the cook. Uh, if any of you are correct. Ah, hello again. How goes your search? About that. No. I should be going. Right. I okay. I guess I haven't got anything. Oh wait, I haven't got enough there. Poor hide, I need some poor, poor hide. I guess I have to do some hunting. Uh, 
I'm still just level 3, so I'm not sure. Okay, oops, side press, look at my deep trouble. Level 5. What I'm gonna give a blue. Just continue to and I got a what? Oh, damn it. the boar What's over here? Or something to scan? Grapple point? Yeah. 
Okay. You see there's a tripwire. Rigged with tripwires. Hey, you! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers. That's always something. Hold Good tight! Boy. I'll see what I can do. Try luring them into the tripwire. What's that over there? Work. Um, whoa. to override machines and cauldrons before. I wonder if there are any out here. Come on, come closer. Oh, 
Oh well, okay. Oh, cool. I'll do it. Okay. Wires are better though! Oh, I'd rather just kill them like this. Hello. Of course, I saw one over here. One over there. Over here. Steady. Maybe we'll go through the trip wire. Frost will make it brittle. Come on. Come on. The last one. <sighs> Hello, Red. What a day, what a day. I oh. think the forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but Sheen Hunt's a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. It's this guy. Wait, right, um... Oh. Oh, there he is. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. 
But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep, uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, uh, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess, Elvind. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. I just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the tripcaster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So we're in headed south. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. First tracks headed up the hill. 
Barons? My focus can help me follow them. Can my focus see anything? I could try my focus, see what it picks up. It's a ruin from the old world. Bet I could find something interesting inside. I'd like to feel my legs again if you don't mind, Savior. We'll get you out, don't worry. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're a vanguard. Well, here to escort Bardiz's delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. 
Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy.